What is up guys, this is Kobe here and today I'm going to be getting my Ilium to level 170. Uh, now I am logging in on the Bishop because you know what, well, I just turned on the computer for it so that may take a while. So um, it's kind of easy to hit 145, all I really have to do is just go over to uh, Banes or Wyverns even. Then maybe I can go to Wyverns um, on here now, maybe I can check 130-ish or so. Because that's really all I got to do until 145. Then once I get a critting tower, it's going to be easy as hell. And I'm at 128 star for it, so that's already pretty good. Um, I personally don't like this map for Wyverns. My favorite map is this one right here. And good thing it's free, uh, so I will be able to find. Well, So I will be able to train pretty well here. Um, not really sure how well Ilium plays out in bigger maps as just these. But we're going to go ahead and test it out. See you know, how much damage you do. How many hits will it take for us to usually kill stuff, and from the looks of it, it's not that bad. Uh, how much damage do I do with Javelin? Let's see, around a million. Yeah, around a million damage with Javelin. Um, these guys have like, what, 5 million health and 25k EXP. I think I'll be able to manage while I wait for the Bishop. Plus, my Bishop doesn't have to follow me around anymore. I could just stay at easy in this. It'll be, you know, really, really good and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, this should be really, really easy. Plus, once I hit 150, ooh -hoo, I'm not going to use these coupons until I hit 145 and get the Kerning Tower. But, um, 150 CRA set, plus 15k, plus 13k, plus 13k, and plus 53k. 377 magic attack on a Fafnir weapon. I cannot wait to equip this. I got really lucky with the flame, as you can see. 65 magic attack. It, ooh, our damage is about to skyrocket at 150. Really, really looking forward to it. But yeah, it is time for me to hit 145. Alright, level 145 now. Training here felt a little off. Um, maybe <laughs> I probably should have went to the other map instead. But, uh, Ilium didn't perform very well here. Now, I'm really hoping they perform well at this next, uh, Star Force map that we're going to. Which is the, 100, well, not 100, but, uh, 80 Star Force area that's going to be at Kerning Tower. Now, let's go through a few things. I'll be there in, like, a second. Alright, at least this map is free, but yeah, this is a really, really good map for Star Force if you guys haven't really been here. I This is always my go-to map, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys know that by now. Um, but these guys have around 10 million health, so it is time to go ahead and see how well Alien will perform here. I'm probably just going to stay in the middle, just because, I, you know, you could just, you know, have the uh, ball over the middle and whatnot, and then we have the reaction skills. And hopefully, Makina will be hitting the, the bottom as well. That spear hits the bottom too, so that's also pretty nice. And then there's also this uh, crystal ball skill, which does a ton of damage and does hit all the platforms as well. So, this shouldn't be, you know, too much to worry about. I'm pretty sure staying in the middle could be uh, fine. But it is time for me to pop all the buffs that I need to. You know, go back, get HS, 2x, make sure I have a lot of damage to be able to hit these guys. And I'll go ahead and you guys, I'll, I'll let you guys know about the training at level 150 or so, once I equip the CRA. And how much faster it's going to be. Oh, I cannot wait. And yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, we are 10% away from level 150. And I just now figured out what the level 150 hyper does. So we're 3% now, geez. Um, but basically, um, let me go ahead and hover over it real quick. You gain one second of invincibility for every single blessed mark you have. Now, what is blessed marks, you may ask? It is the uh, diamond that appears above your head every time you are using the craft orb skill. You can go up to 10 orbs and you lose one orb every time you get attacked. It basically acts as the so magic guard for this class. And you also lose this uh, you also lose all your stacks if you don't use an, the orb skill within 10 seconds. So you need to make sure to use it, you know, whenever the hell you can. Uh, so, it affects all your party members as well. So, it is a party skill. So, if you are an Ilium, uh, this is a good skill to use, you know, to defend members from, let's say, a dangerous attack that's about to happen in the uh, boss fight. Uh, but anyway, let me go ahead and go back to Easy Empress where the bishop is. And we are going to be looking at the gains from uh, equipping the Chaos Rudibus set. Now, ooh, I didn't put points in hypersets in... Uh, I'm pretty sure I'd probably just toss it all in damage, really. Um, 4k range, all that good stuff. I'm just going to get it to 5. Uh, what would be next? Hmm. 
Uh, we'll just do flat eight for now. I'm probably probably be smarter to do, to do critical damage, but eh, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, 225k. Now this is where the real stuff begins. So let me go ahead and use this skill again. Have the bishop buff me up again, and here we go. Mm, 248k. Oh, 271k. 318k and. Uh, 400k rage. Look at look, man. I, I don't really like that look. See, we, we just have the generic, you know, regular mule look that all my mules have. Just CRA said and whatnot. Um, but you know, it's all good. It's all good. It is time to check out the damage now. Oh, uh, Javelin Hyper. Um, 20% damage on Javelin. And at 162, I get an extra line of damage on Javelin. And Javelin does what? Three lines of damage? So it's gonna be a huge damage boost at 162. Um, but yeah. Ooh, the two mills. Crisp. Let me go ahead and uh, summon my robots as well. I'm pretty sure I could summon Deuce as well. Um, all right, there, there is Deuce. And Deuce is doing three mills, long, long in spear. Uh, it's doing like, what, six mills? We are 15 stacks away from, uh, what's it called? Glory Wing. And we are about to just destroy everything. I'm going to use the AB buff as well. See how high a range can get. And then we're going to be using the 2000% the damage skill at, in Glory Wing as well. Here we go. Glory Wing. Let's get it. Oh, 600k range in Glory Wing. What are we doing? Three mils? All right, all right. Here we go. Here, 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 here it goes. Mm. Yo, 20 mils? Let's go. Let's see, this is probably the strongest we're going to get in this class. And I'm at 4.7k stat. Uh... Not as much as my Kadena, but I'm satisfied with the damage that this character has. I, th I think I can live with this. Uh, but yeah, that's interesting. 20 mil with that skill. It does like, what, 8 lines of damage? It's actually kind of ridiculous. I really like it. Um, as for the class, though, it's still nowhere near as good as I wish it'd be. Or as I thought it'd you know, actually be. Um, but you know, like I said, we still haven't got the 170 hyper. We still haven't really hit fifth job to talk about. Uh, so yeah, we will be getting to those later. But for now, it is time to rush over to one. So hold on, there's an elite. Let's see how fast we can take on the elite. Let's see. Oh, uh, those are 12 mils with spear. And then let me go ahead and use this skill real quick. Oh, uh, there's another like six, seven mils. There we go. And jeez, all right. So yeah, CRA really, really makes a difference, especially with the weapon I have. I have a ton of uh, range. Oh, I gained a ton of range of damage just because of it. Now 151. So this is gonna be good.
I will give this class one thing. I seem to level up a lot faster than I expect to, and that's uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> Um, that's exactly not what I expect out of Ilium, but I guess that's just how it goes. But anyway, we're gonna go do what we usually do, or back what we used to do at the beginning of the Union series, and go over our, uh, stats and equips. So right now, I'm at 350k, but if I have 94 hyper stat points, so I'm gonna need to get that done, you know... Maybe a little later, so I'll go over that next episode. But anyway, um, all my equipment is mostly just six percent int stuff. I didn't want to go for nine percent. Well, the belt's nine percent because that was the because there, there was no six percent in the market. But I didn't want to go for all nine percent stuff just because it was really expensive. Uh, so I actually made this shorter myself. I got really lucky rolling this. Um. Because I usually kind of just put throw e pots on shoulders and roll 6% stat to sell, but that's the first stat that I rolled. And it was 9%, not 6. So I decided to keep that. I'm not really bothering with the emblem. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. We'll kind of just see what happens there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my equipment. Now, I have 4.9k in, 9 away from 5k. So that's a rip right there, but I will hit 5k when I level up. But now I really, really want to look at this hyper skill. This hyper skill better be good. Um, it requires Longinus Spear to be level 30. Uh, so let me go. And that's a two minute cooldown too. So that's going to be kind of a bother. Let me go ahead and hotkey this real quick. Um, put that in right there. And we're going to go ahead and test it out. If I can. Okay, there we go. But yeah, just, you know, simple equipment. Uh, only two things at 9%. Uh, that's really all I want, and I'm pretty much done with gearing up the Ilium anyway. But yeah, let's see this hyper skill in action. Um, we'll go up here now. Ooh, oh, that did a lot of damage. Hold on, let me try to read this. Let me read through the skill again because it made me use a uh, launching spear, but there was like you know, four more spears that were around it and hit. Oh, it does three lines of damage four times. So it does 12 lines of 1500% damage. That's like 18,000 damage. That's really good. But it has a two minute, two minute, two minute cooldown. So that's going to be a rip right there. I mean, it deserves a cooldown like this if it's that strong. Because no wonder I saw it hit that, you know, that many times. Yeah, this is a powerful skill. So cooldown is needed on that, especially. And yeah, I guess I'll be using that more once I go over to Omega Sector in the next episode where I hit level 200. And that is going to be it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't, that is if you want to. And we only have one more Ilium video left to cover. I'll catch you guys later.